stream. <laughs> you were live, okay. Hi everyone, welcome Hello. back. Hello. Um, I'm Sophia. And I'm Jess. We're coming to you live from Bologna Mille. This is our last webinar for today, but we will be back tomorrow. Maybe not us specifically, but someone from Bologna Mille will be back with you tomorrow. Um, a quick introduction for our students who do not, don't know us. So I'm Sophia, I grew up, I was born and I grew up in London and I have lived in Bologna for four years and for a year and a half, almost two years, I have been working at Bologna Mille. And I am Jess, I come from London as well, just like Sophia. I have been living in Bologna for a year and a half and I've been working at the school for almost a year now. Yeah. Um, so we have a, well, our focus this evening is on celebrities. So we're going to talk about some celebrities. Actually, let's, um, well, let's read our objectives for this, uh, this lesson. Um, we will uh, do celebrity showdown. So in this focus activity, our grammar is comparatives and superlatives. We will repeat our comparatives and superlatives. We will describe some celebrities and we will also describe some uh, our own personalities. Okay. So to start, what you will probably need is um, a pen and some paper or even your computer screen. We have our wonderful whiteboards and what we want you to do is write your name, name vertically down your paper or your Word document or your Google document, whatever you are using. Like this. this. Where's mine? There we go. And then, can you come up with an adjective for each letter? So for example, my name is Jess. I'm gonna use my full name, which is Jessica. So my first letter is a J. So I need to come up with an adjective which best describes me and begins with a J. Um, how about jolly? Jolly? Jolly yeah. or joyful? Ooh, joyful is good. I prefer joyful. So joyful. Joyful meaning full of joy, full of happiness. So Jess's first adjective will be joy, joyful. My word, my name begins with an S. I need an adjective to describe me beginning with an S. I'm going to say smart. Oh, I like smart. Smart okay. is like a synonym of intelligent. Good. I'm going to go for smart because I like that. So my first one will be S smart. So we invite you now uh, with your paper, your document, write your name horizontally. And for each letter of your name, write an adjective that, if possible, an adjective that describes you. If you cannot think of an adjective for the letter, you can put the letter in the comments and we will try and help you. Yes, we will all do a group effort. And when you've finished, please comment and um, tell us your name vertically. And for each letter, tell us what adjective you thought of. So, I have O next. Wait, go slowly. I have O. What will I do for O next? Optimistic. Oh, I like that. Optimistic. What's your next letter? E. I have gone for energetic. I like that. I think energetic um, is perfect for you. Um, I then have a e. P is the next letter of my e. name. So far, I have smart and optimistic. P. Um, I'm quite polite. Polite. I'm usually quite polite. Um, P. I quite. I'm quite a proud person. Proud. This might be a new word for a lot of you, but I'm showing you on the screen now, so you can see the spelling. Proud. Somebody who is proud is somebody who. We'll put it up also on the. Oh, there we go. So someone who is proud is somebody who is, um, well, I think the negative version of proud is maybe arrogant, but it's not necessarily arrogant. It's somebody who, um, well, feels, feels good about what they do and yeah. who they are, okay? Who is 
happy with what they do and who they are. So I put proud myself. My well. next letter is S, and I am saying silly. Oh, can we see it on the board as well? Silly. silly. Very nice. So silly, I'll write it as well so we can see <laughs> the spelling. Silly is um, it's quite a British word. And like uh, playful. Yeah, someone who's playful, somebody who's not very serious, somebody who likes to joke, to have fun, to um, make other people have fun as well. So I think silly is a good one as well. Um, my next letter in my name, my name is written with a PH, not with an F. I'm going to put for H, helpful. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Tiffany is very helpful. I um I think I am. So my next letter, my next adjective for H will be helpful. I have another S because my name has two S's in it. Hmm. I think. Well, you could also use smart. You're a okay. very smart person. Um. What about? I have another one. Sweet. Oh, definitely. That's very good. Sweet. Jess's next word for her second S will be sweet. She has a very sweet nature, uh, very gentle, very friendly. I think sweet is perfect. Oh, it's funny. Oh, we both have both eyes. eyes. We're both up to I. Ooh. Um, well, I thought intelligent, but I already have smart. I don't want to repeat. You know what? I think one word which is ideal for me and not ideal for you, introvert. <laughs> okay my yeah. one will be introvert okay i think this is not for jess it doesn't really it's not very ideal but um introvert somebody who um hi mariam thank you for joining us and hi mathia too good to see you again um introvert somebody who is quite shy quite timid not very outgoing not very sociable somebody who prefers to be at home with their books, preferably, um, <laughs> who needs their private time, maybe who feels quite, um, doesn't really like to be around a lot of people. So introvert will be my next one. And I, for me, interesting. Interesting. I, I, like that. Yeah, I think interesting is a good one, an interesting person. I hope everybody at home is also writing their name and thinking of adjectives for each letter. Don't forget to share them with us because we're very curious to know you um, and to get to know what you are like as well. I'm on to my last letter, but should we do your C first? Yes, I have C. I was thinking creative. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Jess uh, is a very, very creative person. In fact, she is an artist. So I think um, creative is perfect and then i can use a artist you can my use, last letter. yeah or you can change it into the adjective artistic artistic absolutely perfect. that's wonderful what about me for a i will put um a um, uh, i'll put um what was i thinking just now i thought of it and then i forgot it Adorable though. Ah, nice. I was gonna say appropriate. I don't appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sound so boring. I'll put adorable. So here is my name with my adjective: smart, optimistic, proud, helpful, introvert, and adorable. And I think and that's here is up. mine: joyful, energetic, silly, sweet, interesting, creative, and artistic. That's wonderful. I think that really sums us up quite well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'd love to hear yours. If you want to work on it throughout the focus, please do send them to us. You have 40 minutes. Yes. To complete this activity. Exactly. So each letter of your name, you are coming up with an adjective to describe yourself. Yes. And we're very curious by the end of the focus, when you finish, please post them. We will be very happy to receive them. Uh, so let's look at our focus for today. Um, so we did adjectives to describe people's personalities or characteristics. Um, we have some examples on the board. If we look at the first column, we have beautiful, handsome, talented, funny, and adventurous. A lot of these words are very similar in um, Italian and in English. For example, talented, adventurous, I'm sure 
you can understand using Italian. We have beautiful and handsome. handsome. So, what is the difference between beautiful and handsome? Let's see in the comments if you can tell us. We'll give an example to help you, okay? I think Jess is a beautiful girl, but Matt Damon, as you can see in your picture, is handsome, okay? So using that, what do we think is the difference between beautiful and handsome? In the meantime, shall we go on to the next one? Yeah, so then we have this word boring. Mm. <sighs> like this, it's so boring. <laughs> Boring is when you are in um, maybe your history lesson at school or your maths lesson. And for me, it was maths. For me, it was... Mm. For me, it was absolutely maths, where you're maths sitting there well. and you're looking at your clock, your watch, and you're looking at the clock and you're thinking, oh, when will it finish? This is boring. We then have rich, which is the opposite of... Poor. So somebody who has money or does not have money. We then have sophist, so Sophie, <laughs> <laughs> sophisticated mm. and passionate and intelligent, which using Italian, we can understand the meaning. So sophisticated, somebody who um, is quite elegant, maybe okay. um, passionate, intelligent. Let's see if we had any responses for beautiful and handsome. There beautiful is for a woman and handsome is for a man absolutely so um we have uh, matia with the right answer handsome for man beautiful girl katharina as well handsome for men beautiful for women attention of your spelling katharina of handsome look on the side as well um to see the spelling and Fiorella as well says beautiful is for women and handsome is for men. Well done, everyone. Very nice. Good job. So if beautiful is for women and handsome is for men, what do we call objects? For example, your bag, your clothes, your shoes, your car. What do we call objects? Beautiful or handsome? And while you're thinking of that, we have then dramatic, mm -hmm. friendly, yeah, interesting, a good, bad actor. Very nice. Um, dramatic. Yeah, well, I'm sure you can understand the meaning. Dramatic, somebody who is exaggerated, <gasps> over the top, who likes drama. Um, I can be dramatic sometimes. You... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you all have a dramatic person in your lives. If you can't think of someone, then it's probably you. <laughs> um, for... We don't have any answers. Matthias says annoying. Annoying. Annoying for boring. Is that related to boring? Possibly. But false. attention, we have another false friend here. Annoying is irritating. Okay. Something is irritating if it's annoying. Boring, as we said before, is your maths lesson, your history lesson. An somewhere. example of annoying, I'm going to do something to Sophia now, and oh. she is going to tell you how it feels. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's very, very annoying. So annoy. Okay, you can stop. Thank you. Stop. <laughs> so annoying is you will know, especially if you have a younger brother or a younger sister. Okay, that is irritating. That's annoying. Uh, let me take this off. We were talking about objects. Um, it's a bit anti-feminist, but objects will also be beautiful. So handsome is for men, beautiful for women, and objects. It's a bit sexist, but that's the language sometimes. Um, so we finished with our adjectives. Don't forget throughout this focus, if you encounter, if you see any words or expressions that you don't understand, ask us in the comments. We will be happy to respond to your questions. So let's do some comparisons. Mm -hmm. So our grammar for this activity is comparing. How do we compare two things? If we have a short word, for example, cheap, we will use these two letters, E, R, okay? And also the word than. So, so for short adjectives, add a. Matt Damon is shorter than Ben Affleck, for example, okay? When we have a long adjective, 
we will use more before the adjective and then after the adjective. But, right. go on. I was just going to say, but we do not change the adjective itself. We do not change the words. No. For example, Ben Affleck is more handsome than Matt Damon. Questionable. <laughs> I'm not sure. Do you agree? Uh, I think in this photo, yes. But in general, no. I just think Matt Damon has much, he's much more relatable. Yeah. He's just a, he, Matt Damon seems like a guy that you could go out with, have a drink and talk. Ben Affleck, you don't have yeah. that impression. He feels yeah. like it, he would be quite serious. Okay. Um, so, um, if it's a short word, er, er, and then then, if it's a long adjective, more than. Hey, Sophia, what about if two things are the same? If two things are the same, we will use as, as, but the adjective we don't change. So, for example, Jess is as tall as me. Kind of. Okay. Kind of, yeah. We're not, we're, we have to stand up, but. So, Jess is as tall as me. When things are equal, we say as, as, okay? Um, let's look at some more examples. Actually, first, let's look at our comments and ah, see. Well done, everyone who wrote as, as. Very good. So, more beautiful. I agree. As, as. Very nice. So, we have two celebrities on the board. We have Hugh Laurie. You might know Hugh Laurie as Dr. House. And we also have Brad Pitt. So, uh, in the comments, I want we want you to compare these two actors. You can use... Um, more than, you can use er, or Jess is as kind as Sophia. Oh, that's so cute. Let's put this up. I like that. That's a perfect example of as, as. The adjective in the middle doesn't change. Jess is kind of Sophia. Oh, Aww. that's nice. I, I think so. <laughs> um, so, let's compare Hugh Laurie and Brad Pitt by using our different uh, grammar forms. You can think about personality, looks, or appearance, wealth, their money, uh, talent, age, etc. Who do you who do you think is the best? Who is the better actor? Do you think? I don't. I, uh, I have to be honest. I'm really bad with celebrities. <laughs> but um, maybe Hugh Laurie is a better actor than Brad Pitt. I, I, think don't, so. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, maybe. Hugh Laurie is quite a comic actor. I think yeah. Brad Pitt can, does more. Let's look at some examples that people are sharing. Brad is more handsome than Hugh Laurie. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Laurie That's is me. taller than Pitt. Nice. Good. Um, yes, Laurie is taller than Pitt. Uh, this is also correct. Brad Pitt is more handsome than Hugh Laurie. We've got two on the Brad Pitt uh, squad. Are you on the Brad Pitt squad or the Hugh Laurie squad? Uh, if everyone's Brad Pitt, I'll go Hugh Laurie. Yeah, like I'm thinking Hugh Laurie keep as it well. Different. Also, um, Hugh Laurie is actually British. He is, um, he's English. He's from our uh, country. And just automatically, we're just going to go on the uh, Hugh Laurie side. Okay. <laughs> um, Pitt, Pitt is more fashionable. Than Laurie. Nice, good, good job. You've got a long adjective, fashionable, more than. Very nice. And um, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thank Maria. you, Maria Laura, for joining us. Um, what about um, what about wealth? Who do you think is richer? Mm. I'm going to say Brad Pitt. I'm. I agree with you. Brad Pitt is richer than Lou Hugh Laurie. Um, <laughs> so, um, Mathia is uh, changing the subject a little bit and saying, Pitt's ex-wife was more beautiful than Laurie's. Are you talking about Angelina or um, Jennifer? Yeah, good <laughs> question. Are you tell us if you're talking about Angie or Jen. Um, <laughs> then we've got, I don't know who Laurie's ex-wife is, I'll be honest. Um, and then we've got Katharina saying, Brad Pitt is more talent. Can you change this, Katharina, into an adjective? Talent is the noun. Um, she says, Jan Angelina. Um, so, Brad Pitt, if you can rewrite it, Christina, um, Katharina, excuse me, and change the noun talent into the adjective. Okay, 
Um, Shall we move on? Yeah, let's look at someone else. We'll look now at two actresses. In fact, here she is. There she is, the beautiful lady. Uh, so we have Audrey Tautel. Can mm -hmm. you pronounce that? No. Okay. Anyway, we have Audrey and Angelina Jolie herself. Um, again, let's compare them. Remember, short adjectives, long adjectives, equal. Think about personality, looks, wealth, talent, age, and write for us in the comments. Mm. What has Audrey Tato been in? She's, I okay. recognize her, but she's Amelie. <gasps> oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Well, I think Angelina Jolie is richer than Audrey. I would say Angelina Jolie is definitely richer than Audrey. Um, I think Audrey Tatho is probably younger than Angelina really? Jolie. Possibly, maybe they are the same, same age. age. Maybe she is as old as uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Jolie is more happier. Okay, let's have a look at this. Um, so with long adjectives, we use more. With short adjectives, we don't. So Jolie is happier than, I'm going to say, what's her name? Tato. Tato. Yeah. Um, remember that uh, one particularity is if the word ends in Y, let's write this on our boards as well. If the word ends in a Y, doesn't matter how long it is, we remove the Y and it becomes I E R. Okay, so we would say Jolie is happier than Tato without more. Okay, it's not necessary to write more and uh, together. Um, Orita, we've got here another response. Francesca says Jolie is more beautiful than Tato. Uh, and Katharina says, Rosato is younger than Angelina Jolie. Good, correct, absolutely. Um, any more ideas relating to um, talent or um, wealth? Let us know. Shall we? Let's do another move one. on. All right, so here we have two more celebrities. We have um, Gerard Depardieu and Bradley Cooper. Let's do some comparisons again. Personality, looks, wealth, talent, age. Um, we've got some more examples ah, here. Yes. Let's pull these up. Katharina says Audrey Tato is taller than Angelina Jolie. I don't know if that's true, but it's correct. But it's correct grammatically. And here we have Angelina's hairs are longer than Audrey. Oh, okay. Um, your comparative is correct, but let's look at your countable and uncountable noun, okay? So hair is generally uncountable, okay? If we cannot say, we can say hairs, but when we're talking about the hair on our head, we'll just use singular. So we will change this. Arsena, can you try and write your answer again, but using um, only singular, okay? Not, so uncountable, not plural for hairs. Um, I like Matthias' answer. Matthias says, just superlatives about Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yes. a good answer. That's a good yes, answer. I think I um, agree. Well, Gerard is definitely best. fatter than Bradley. Yes, Bradley is definitely more handsome. Oh yeah, absolutely. Though I feel like Gerard, when he was younger, might have yeah. been quite handsome. You know, my mum was in love with Gerard but de Berthier. She might be watching. <laughs> um, who do you think is richer? I I have no idea. I I don't know. Who do you think is richer? Who do you think is richer between Jared and Bradley? Let's see some examples. Yes, very good, Arsiana. Can we look at Arsiana's um, correction first? 
Yes, yeah. good. Angelina's hair is longer than Audrey's. Okay, let's make it a possessive. Andre Angelina's hair is longer than Audrey's hair. Yeah. Okay, because otherwise it sounds like you're saying Angelina's hair is longer than Audrey <laughs> as a person. As a person. <laughs> um, Jared is older than Bradley. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Cooper is more supportive support. than Jared. Good. Sportive meaning athletic. Yeah, absolutely. Bradley Cooper is younger than Jared Depardieu. Yeah, good. Um, we still we still don't know who is richer. Yeah, who do you think is richer? Who do you think is richer? We this, this is our main preoccupation right now. Okay, so this is our game, our challenge. Okay, we want to start at Merrill Street. And we want to arrive at Ben Stiller using the um, the arrows. Using the arrows, okay. So we're going to compare Meryl Streep to Rihanna, and then continue round. So we have an example to start. Meryl Streep is much older than Rihanna. Anna is Rihanna is as beautiful as Shakira. Nice. Um, notice here, Meryl Streep is much older so we use much to talk about a big difference okay and if you can tell us in the comments if much is for a big difference what do we use for a small, small difference. difference tell us in the comments so we have much real streak is much older than rihanna rihanna is as beautiful as shakira there we go matthias got it there so our Correct answer for a small difference, a bit, and for a uh, big difference, much. So let's have um, let's have some comments. We will go around this um, around these people and try to compare them using also comparatives, but also much and a bit. Francesca so, says Shakira is older than Rihanna. Is that true? Yeah, maybe. I trust you. Okay, yeah, we trust you. Um, we also we trust have... that. Um, let's go here. Anne's hair, hair is shorter than Rihanna. Rihanna. Good, very nice. Again, let's keep our possessives. Anne's hair is shorter than Rihanna's hair, okay? Because otherwise it sounds like Anne's hair is shorter than Rihanna as a person, um, which sounds a bit strange. Which would mean Rihanna would be very, very yeah, short. Yeah, Rihanna would be tiny. <laughs> uh, we're going down to... Who is Medgar? Who is Medgar? Um, okay, I don't know who your your grammar is correct. As famous as is perfect, but we don't understand who Mergo is um, of these actors. Here, here we go. That's a good um, a good example. Shakira's His hair, hair is much, much longer, longer than Anne's. Great, good. really good. Streep is the best actress of all. Oh, nice. Nice. This is not a comparative, though. No, you're using, you've gone, um, you've anticipated our next exercise, Francesca, and you've gone on to superlatives. Um, so, yes, yeah, Streep is the best actress of all. I, I'm going to agree with you. Yeah, Meryl Streep is um, our queen, our She's goddess. And what, yeah, absolutely. Big fan. Um, Let's, um, can we think of a comparative between Anne and Johnny Depp? Oh, we've got Anne and Johnny Depp, Matthias on it. Anne's smile. Good, he's corrected himself as well. Oh, he has, let's see. Perfect. Yes, good job, Matthias, on the ball. Anne's smile is much brighter than Depp's. Good, yeah, really nice. good. Um, shall we compare... Let's go to Johnny Depp and Al Pacino. Oh, yeah. And that's going to be difficult. Ooh. Johnny Depp and Al Pacino is difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd say... I um, mean, I'm a fan of Johnny Depp, so... Also a big fan of Al Pacino, though. Who do you think is more famous? Johnny Depp. 
Do you think so? Mm -hmm. I think Johnny Depp is as famous as Al Pacino. Yeah. Anna, uh, Maria Laura has another response. Meryl is a bit famous than Rihanna. Okay, let's have a look at this. Um, you're missing one little word here, La uh, Maria Laura, but you're missing your comparative. You use the bit, which is excellent. Remember, it's a long adjective. Famous, it's a long adjective. So what word do we need to use? We always need to include this comparative word. Mar Maria Laura, can you write your response again and see if you can find the correction? Um, excellent. There you go, good girl, Maria Laura. A bit more. more famous, very nice. Um, Fiorella says Shakira is younger than Meryl. Um, oh, here we go. We've got a good answer here. Al Pacino is as... <gasps> remember, almost. Remember that with equal, equals, as, as, you don't need don't to change. change the adjective. Can you write it again, Mathia, and do a correction? But we absolutely agree with you. Um, that's a very good answer, actually. Um, shall we go on to... Hello, Giovanni. Thanks for joining Hi, us. Hi, Giovanni. Nice to see you. Um, yes. Good. Very well nice, Mattia. As, as crazy as. Let's try Al Pacino and Bruce Willis. That's okay, Mattia. It's good that you corrected yourself. That's the important thing. Bruce Willis Oh, I have one. Older than Al Pacino. I think, I don't think he is, but I told you I'm terrible with celebrities. I think Bruce Willis is bolder than Al Pacino. <laughs> yes. I'd say bolder than Al Pacino. Um, so don't forget to keep us, send us some ideas for Bruce Willis and Al Pacino. And then we have Bruce Willis and Ben Stiller. I'm not a fan, actually no, Ben Stiller is, um, he's okay, yeah, sometimes he's funny. Um, ben Stiller is funnier yeah. than Bruce Willis, maybe? Do you have any other um, comparisons? Who's, who's richer between Bruce Willis and Ben Stiller? Mm. I'd say Bruce Willis. Yeah. Ben is more talkative than Bruce. Excellent. Yeah, should we bring this up? That's a very really good one. Good. Yeah. Ben is more talkative than Bruce Willis. Yes, absolutely. I agree. That's a very good comparative as well. Okay. Let's go on to our superlatives, I think, now. Yes. So, ah. with short adjectives, very similar. We use the and then est. Okay. Some examples. The tallest, the oldest, the smartest. Okay. Then we have our long adjective. So we add the most to the start, and you guessed it, the adjective does not change. The most handsome, the most passionate, the most exciting. So we're going to look at some superlatives now. Um, I, we just want to know your opinion. Use superlatives and comparatives to describe some celebrities. Tell us, in your opinion, who is the funniest, the friendliest, the most sophisticated, the most passionate, the most adventurous, and the most attractive, and also the best or the worst actor, okay? Feel free in the comments, tell us your opinions, tell us about your favorite um, and your least favorite celebrities. Who is the funniest for you? Oh, we have another example here from Giovanni Soro. Uh, Lee Depp is as handsome as Al Pacino. <coughs> yeah, that's correct. That's very good. Um, and you used as as correctly. The adjective does not change. Your lessons were the most interesting. Can I bring this up? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. We really <laughs> appreciate that. Um, and well done for the grammar. And also your grammar is excellent. Thank you, Mathia, for being such a dedicated student. Um, so tell us about your favourite celebrities. Who do you think is the funniest? 
celebrity. So bad with names. <laughs> well, just tell me, um, um, tell me what they were in, and maybe I can guess who who's it is. Who's the funniest? Who do I find funny? For me, the funniest celebrity, the funniest actor is Will Farrell. Um, maybe he's not so famous in Italy. Um, but he is very famous in America, and for me, Ooh. he is the funniest actor. Francesca, nice question. Um, oh no, wrong one. I pulled up. Um, Did I? Who is the funniest of them all? Hmm, that's a really good question. Very well expressed. Good grammar. Yeah. <laughs> um who is the funniest of them all well that is our question to you to tell us who is the funniest oh here we go you have an idea leonardo pieraccioni is the funniest, funniest actor, actor in italy, italy. Jim, jim carrey jim. is the most sophisticated actor in the world good. okay interesting very good grammar yes I'm not sure if i would call him sophisticated he is very very talented but let's see who is the sir, the most funny? Who is who is the sir, most ah okay? Who is the funniest, funniest or the most funny? Um, I think we say both in English. The funniest, the most funny, because remember what we said before about our Y in English. Okay, when the word ends with a Y, we remove it and we change it to er. So according to this rule, it should be the funny, he is funnier than he is the funniest. But we do say sometimes the most funny. Um, so for funny, I think it's interchangeable. You can use both. Um, Matthias said London is the best city in the whole Europe. And I wouldn't say the whole. I would say in all of Europe. Yeah, in all of Europe. Um, London is the best city. Thank you. We we think so too. We like Bologna, but we still think London is the best. We're true yeah. Londoners. Yeah, we really are. Um, <laughs> Mariam, um, may I put this up? Mariam says, Chris Hemsworth is the most attractive for me. Who is Chris Hemsworth? Can you tell us what film he was in? Because now we're curious. You know it. Um, still prefer, Matthias says, still prefer the Southbound. I've lived there for a while. South Bank, maybe. Cool. Um, so tell us more. What about the friendliest, um, Who's actor? the friendliest celebrity? I don't know. That's difficult. Angelina Jolie is quite friendly. Yeah. I don't know if she's the friendliest. The most passionate. The most adventurous. The most attractive. Who's the most attractive celebrity, Jess? Giovanni, it's hard to choose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Listen to, let's see, um, Giovanni's, um, it says, Al Pacino is the best actor in Hollywood. Yeah, nice. I, I agree with you. I think he's very good. And um, Giovanni brought up an important point here about our irregulars. Mm -hmm. Because remember that we have irregular superlatives in English as well. Uh, so good, can you tell us about the irregular? Good, best, the best. Mm. But then we also have bad, which becomes worst. the worst. Good. Uh, Mariam says that Chris, that Chris Hemworth was in The Avengers. Okay, cool. Luciana says, in my opinion, Sean Connery is the most sophisticated actor. Good answer. Very good answer. Um, and so, Sophia, who is the most attractive actor for you? Okay, I don't need to think about it. Um, the most attractive actor is Matthew McConaughey. Uh, and one day we will be married. He doesn't know this yet, but one day, one day. Well, let's hope he will watch uh, my English lessons and version. maybe one day it will happen for you. Um, let's look at some two more um, comments and then we'll go on to our ex next exercise. Katharina says, Indiana Jones is the most adventurous film. Oh, yeah, good. Absolutely. And Matthias says, I'm the funniest student in this podcast. Very nice. Good job, guys. Um, let's uh, go on to our next 
um, and its exercise. Um, show, so we're going to pick, choose our favourite celebrity and use superlatives to describe them and explain why you think they are the best. Okay. For example, my favourite celebrity is Julia Roberts because in my opinion she is the most talented and the most beautiful. She is one of the highest paid actresses in the world. Yes, very nice. Um, she's one of, but I discovered recently that the highest paid actress in the world at the moment is Scarlett Johansson. Uh, that does yeah. not surprise no, me. No, it really doesn't. Um, so, in the comments, tell us about your favourite actor uh, or actress and um, tell us why they are your favourite. Okay. I must, do you know what? I do know who my favourite actress is. Okay, I'm tell us. No, I'm not. Kira Knightley. Yeah, okay. I just I love Tell us why. I I have something about period dramas, so mm. old movies, the dresses, the wigs, the she's, lords and ladies. She's very good Never. at um historical dramas. Yeah. Yeah, um absolutely. She was just made. She was made for that. The voice, dramas. I wish I could do it. I probably <laughs> but I'm not going to embarrass myself. Um no, I agree. I think she is one of um the most talented British actresses. Mm -hmm. Um, who do I think, well, is the best actress? No, Meryl Streep, I think she is the most talented. Oh, I really, uh, I love, no, uh, what's his name? Uh, The Imitation Game. The Imitation Game, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> um, um, Cumberbatch. Help us. Benedict. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Let's talk about Benedict Cumberbatch. Let's talk about Benedict. Is he the most attractive? Yes and no. Exactly. Oh. If anybody else has the same dilemma about Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, please let us I know. Think it's his talent that makes him attractive, if you understand what I mean. Maybe also his charisma. Yes. Let's make that into a comparative. He is the most charismatic um, actor. Good. Yeah, 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 he's the most charismatic actor, but maybe not attractive. Okay. Um, so uh, tell us in your comments about your favorite actors, actresses, your favorite celebrities, maybe a singer. Um, it doesn't have to be an actor or an actress. Um, oh, Mathia has an answer. Let's have a look. I loved Alan. Oh, uh, mm. yeah, I agree. Because he was the most complicated character yeah, in Harry Potter. So, this is Mathia's answer. The most complicated actor in Harry Potter entertainment. I was apparently rude. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, he, he was, was apparently a rude teacher and person. No, but in reality, he wasn't. He was very important. Thank you, Mathia, for that. Really nice. Um, let's read Katharina's response. My favorite celebrity. Who's this? Russell, Russell Crowe. Who's Russell Crowe? Uh, Gladiator. Russell Crowe. Yeah, Gladiator, because for me, ah, oh, yes, yes, he yes, is yes, the yes, most yes. talented actor in the film Beautiful Mind. He's the best yeah. actor in the world. Very nice, Katerina. Katerina, don't forget your subjects, okay? My favorite celebrity is Russell Crowe because for me, he is the most talented actor. In the film Beautiful Mind, he is the best actor. In Italian, it's not necessary, but in English, it's always a necessary. He is. He is always, okay? Okay, well done, everyone. Okay. Now, we're going to put everything together and it's time to reflect on ourselves. Yes. So, now you. Describe yourself to a partner or to us via the chat using as many adjectives as you can think of. Use comparatives and superlatives to say how you differ from a friend or a family member. And please, if you came up with any adjectives from our warm-up activity, you can, you can show us these adjectives now. Yes, now is the time to tell us all about yourselves, who you are, your personalities. Um, let's read some examples. Uh, I am more outgoing than my best friend. I'm also a bit taller and a bit thinner than she is. 
she is more interesting, but I am a much happier person than she is. I don't, such a strange thing to say, but yeah. Uh, between the two, I am definitely the funniest. I always make her laugh. Um, what about you with your friends and family, Jess? How do you compare with your friends? <laughs> um, I think I am more outgoing. Also, uh, in the example we've had, okay, I'm just different. I am definitely funnier than my friends. <laughs> Are you the funniest? I am the funny, funniest. I can believe that. Um, I am I think, what they, my friends call the class clown. I so think always um, making people laugh. Um, not afraid to make a fool of myself, mm -hmm. to make a joke, um, yeah. make others laugh. I definitely think that Jess is the funniest teacher at the school, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, in the meantime, we're getting some more responses about our favourite celebrities, so shall, um, if you go up a bit, there were some more as well. Uh, Giovanni, all right, we'll start with Rosalba says... My favourite celebrity is Robin Williams. Oh my goodness, Robin Williams. That was sad because he was the funniest, the most talented and the most versatile. Excellent work. Really good. Really good actor in the world. Really good. I absolutely agree. In fact, I'm, I'm getting emotional thinking about Robin Williams. Um, right? No, I, I, will, I will try not to. Uh, Luciana. My favourite actress is Emma Thompson mm. because she is able to play any character. She is charming and a very talented woman. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Nice, um, Luciana. And um, Giovanni says... My favourite actor in this moment is... I don't know who this is. Yeah, I don't know either. I like very much from Sario. Oh, oh, okay, I understand. Yes, I like... Um, remember, Giovanni, to put very much at the end of your sentences. I like Commissario Montalbano very, very much. much. Okay, it goes at the end. He's a good interpreter of Italian lifestyle. Nice, good. Um, my favourite actor is Keiko Zalone. Zalone, nice. Because he is very funny. He, again, we need the he is comic. Mm -hmm. Comedic. He's comic, like he's Speaking funny, of, okay. yeah. He's a very simple person. Yeah, it's true. Good. Um, yeah, he's a simple person. He's um, he's not sophisticated, but he's a very good actor. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Mario, Matthias' dog, is the... You called your dog Mario? Really? <laughs> is the most hungriest. Be careful there, Ma Mathieu. You don't need S and most together. He yeah. is the hungriest dog I've ever known. Mm -hmm. He is always sleeping on his sofa. I love him because is an English. Because, again, he is English. English. And because he, he is more beautiful than everyone. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> um, and then Katharina says I'm taller than my sister but she is thinner than me I'm older than my sister but she is more interesting than me I'm the happiest person in the world oh, good for you Katharina that's really okay. good very nice excellent um, comparatives and superlatives very nice okay we are running out of time so if you have any more uh, descriptions of yourself or of a celebrity please send them in now so we can look at them mm -hmm. while we wait for that so Fia if you could describe yourself. Describe myself? Um, using my adjectives or just comparing? comparing okay, well, um, well, here's one. I am the oldest in my family. I, well, I have two sisters. I am the oldest of my sisters, but I am also the shortest. My two sisters are younger than me, but they are taller than me which is very embarrassing when we go out together because they think I, everybody thinks I am the baby of the family, but I'm not. We can say to be old, but young inside. Absolutely, yeah. Not that you're old. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, um, should we go over some uh, things before Here we, we have finish? another one? Okay. I am a bit short. Be careful of your comparative, Giovanni. A bit shorter -er. -er. than my friend, but I am more interesting than him. Mm. He's a much ha happier, I think, remember the H, person than me, but I am also more sporty than him. Mm -hmm. He prefers third person, 
prefers to stay on the sofa. Nice. Giovanni, do you want to write that response for us again really quick and we'll try and do some corrections? Um, otherwise, should we? I think that's all we have that's time all we have for. Time for. All right, guys, thank you so much. It's been wonderful. Thank, thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much for us. being here, for watching, and uh, we'll see you again very, very soon. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Bye. Bye.